with the great Tito Ortiz. It's finally happening, man. 20 years in the making, almost to the date, right? Since uh, the, since the rematch. Yeah, almost to the day of the rematch. 18 years ago, uh, we wrestled against each other. Um, this is not a wrestling match. This is not a match. This is not a competition. This is a fight. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my legacy. I'm fighting for everything I've, I've fought for through my career. Um, and it's against a person that beat me on my birthday 18 years ago in a wrestling match. I'm punching, I'm elbowing, I'm kneeing, I'm kicking. I'm trying to hurt him. I'm, I'm trying to draw blood. Uh, first blood. The one that causes the most uh, amount of damage in the shortest amount of time is going to win this fight. And that's going to be me. Uh, first time I spoke to you was at the Smash Global event when they were honoring yeah. you. And uh, that day, they, uh, Bellator signed uh, Chael. Yeah. And you, you mentioned to me the, the pinning thing. Was that something that just that day already, you started kind of licking your chops like, yes, I'm going to get it? I didn't even know. I didn't even have a clue. They, they're really, they keep their lips really, really tight here at Bellator. They don't let anybody know any information at all, which is great. Uh, I was the first to know was I was watching Bellator on Spike TV and all of a sudden I see Chell raising his arms and one arm was smaller than the other and it said coward on it and it says I'm calling out Tito Ortiz. I'm on a, ad, on a legend ass whipping tour. Yeah, well this legend is going to whip your ass, but I was like, great. Thank you. There's my fight. There's my final fight right there. You know, I wanted to fight, uh, not an easier fight, but a big name like Hoist Gracie or Ken Shamrock or Frank Shamrock. And everything in this world happens for a reason. I'm very thankful that uh, Bellator signed him. I'm thankful that he called me out. And on Saturday night, uh, he's going to feel the wrath of Tito Ortiz. And like I say, um, I'm the old lion, man. This is my kingdom, and I'm going to roar. Looking back on your career, what would be your greatest victory in, in your mind? Uh, my greatest victory in my mind is uh, after a year and a half of competition, having my hand raised with Vanderlei Silva winning the world title, being a world champion, and defending that world champion for over uh, four years and five title defenses. What can we expect uh, from Tito in retirement? It looks like you're, you're, you're kind of riding off in the sunset with this victory. What, 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 what can uh, MMA fans, you still want to be in the sport, obviously, you're very passionate about it. What, what can we expect out of Tito? Um, our management company, Primetime 360, uh, my manager and my partner, George Prejean, works really, really hard with Chris Cyborg of her future. Uh, you know, right now we're kind of in limbo of that. Um, I've been focusing so much on my career right now that I kind of left it up to him to take care of that stuff. But to look for the next superstars, look for the next legends, um, help these guys make the great decisions that I've made in my career and make sure they don't make the bad decisions that I made in my career. I think that's really, really important. Um, you know, as, as fighters, they see managers as being sometimes shady, uh, doing the wrong things for them, not thinking for their best interests. Well, the best way to have a manager is someone who's came from the fight game himself, who understand how management should be ran. And uh, I look for people who are loyal, people who I can trust. And George Prezian, as my partner, as my manager, I, I couldn't think anybody better. Speaking of uh, guys coming up and, and things like that, who's the one guy that Tito Ortiz is in MMA you're like, I must watch TV. When that guy's fighting, when that girl's fighting, I'm watching it for sure. Wherever I'm at, that, that's who I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch them fighting? Yeah, like, like, who's like you a fan of? Oh, you're basically like, when I heard that person's going to fight, wherever uh, I'm Nick and Nate Diaz. Nick and Nate Diaz. When they, when they fight, I'm watching. Mm -hmm. Those guys Those guys are... I, 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 they remind me when I was a kid, man, little gangsters who are coming and coming up and... and and don't care what anybody says, then they're going to do it their way. You know, Nick and Nate Diaz, I, I'll watch them compete no matter what, man. They're awesome. We can't wait, wait to watch you compete, sir, on the Saturday, January 21st. Thank you so much for the time, man. Best of luck. Thank you, Thank you brother. Sure. Appreciate it.